obviously we've got a, a clear idea of what the market's looking like. It's definitely a little bit challenging out there. So we've looked at kind of what we see are the main challenges. Um, looking at the top couple ones that we have listed in there, I really look at them as kind of key be key risk challenges. Uh, first one, and I know Mike, we've talked about this a lot, but like data security and compliance, that is probably the biggest challenge for, for customers, especially if they're on legacy systems. Maybe you can talk a little bit more about what you've seen in that space. Yeah. Uh... Data uh, security, privacy, that's a big, huge one. A lot of our, our customers, they have, they fall under, uh, you know, government, regulatory, DOD type uh, security. So it's a, it's a big deal for them. Uh, the, the challenge with these systems, typically they're, you know, it hosted in-house, uh, still on-premise sometimes. So there's, there's those challenges, multiple systems uh, scattered not one data governance model across all the applications. So we've been able to come in, you know, adopting the Microsoft platform, uh, the, you know, right from the very beginning, the Azure, you know, directory, uh, user single sign on, uh, being able to, to regulate and, and audit who has access to what information is, is key um, in those areas. and. I would say finance supply chain management that there's the robust security there of being able to tighten those things down. And then also it plays well with the other Microsoft products, your your Outlook, your SharePoint. Um, and and then when we talk integrations, that's another area of you know security of making sure that the, the pipe, uh, and that's why we rely on the stadium integration uh, between like a CAD system and FNO to make sure that's that's secured in there. And also just working with with our customers on on ensuring that the data is in the right areas. A lot of our customers, you know, uh, make sure the ERP only has what it needs and not additional other things. CAD drawing, some sometimes those are sensitive. Make sure they're locked away over in other areas. So it's a it's a big big priority for CEOs at the moment. Yeah, no, exactly. So kind of looking at these, I mean, we talked a little bit about that security piece and then getting into data governance, making sure that you've kind of got access to all the data you need so you can manage cost. And then those bottom three points I really see as, as being kind of opportunities, right? Like, what are you missing out on if you're not moving to a solution like D365? You missing out on specific opportunities that if you had this data governance, you'd be able to take advantage of. And then are you missing out on kind of the forward looking ideas that we're talking about? You know, automation is going to be continue to get big. Uh, AI is probably the I'd say one of the hot, hottest topics right now. So are you in a position to actually take advantage of that? Um, Mike, anything else to add before we jump to our next yep. slide? Those those are big areas because uh, a lot of these a lot of our customers, I, you know, it's ever increasing. I, margins a big big thing they want to grow they want to scale i uh, being able to take advantage of workflow automation a uh, prime example is you know finance supply chain like i talked about engineering change management like automating that process is huge i uh, a lot of a lot of companies need to run pretty lean and they need to grow um at the same time and by having a the finance supply chain, the ERP integrated with a CAD system. We're talking on the scale. A lot of these customers have tens of thousands of products, uh, bill of material uh, with 10,000 products, on it, you know, 10,000 items on it for a particular project they're building. Uh, that's a lot when you talk about updates and things like that, having to have somebody hire people to handle those things when they change and manually key them into both systems when as they get updated or as they're introduced into them is a huge, uh, huge cost uh, on a company. So being able to automate that allows their their staff, predominantly a lot of engineering uh, staff focus on, you know, what they're what they're there to do, build the product and not not have to do low value work of keying in uh, items or even worse, the uh, reducing the data quality, you know, issues of that type of stuff too, of ensuring the quality of the data is good between the systems. 
Exactly. You know, if you don't have accurate data, you can't take advantage of those final key points at the bottom of this is, you know, AI and analytics.